हेलो फिजियोस आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू आर चैनल फिजियो विद्यापीठ वी आर बैक आफ्टर अ लॉन्ग ब्रेक एंड नाउ वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग अवर टॉपिक शॉर्ट वेव डायथन सो वी वर अबाउट टू स्टडी द थेराप्यूटिक इफेक्ट्स ओके सो देर आर सिक्स मेन थेराप्यूटिक इफेक्ट्स of short wave diathermy but each of them is very and super easy to understand so let's understand it quickly so first effect is effect on inflammation that how the short wave diathermy is used therapeutically in various inflammation now let us first of all see which inflammation i am talking about such as rheumatoid arthritis and any kind of tendonitis capsulitis or pelvic inflammatory disease okay so which are mostly related to the hip joint okay hip joint i am writing hj so now what is happening in case of chronic inflammation we are going to use short wave diathermy as much as possible why because in chronic conditions if we are using the short wave diathermy definitely it will give us some deep heating effects that is the thermal effect and as you all know whenever there will be increase in temperature there will be vasodilatation vasodilatation will occur so more amount of blood will reach toward the inflammatory part is it useful for us definitely it is useful for us why because the vasodilatation is directing more blood toward the inflammatory side yes how it is possible how it is beneficial it is beneficial because it will provide more oxygen more nutrition for healing okay and wbc will also reach to reduce the inflammation antibodies will also reach to reduce the inflammation also there will be clearance of metabolic waste so if metabolic waste are cleared noxious stimulant or noxious irritants are cleared definitely there will be some sort of reduction in the inflammation so it is very easy to understand so what factors are important first is vasodilatation then nutrition is coming okay nutrition is coming wbc is coming okay antibodies abs are coming which are reducing the inflammation and this whole thing is going to repeat n number of time in all these therapeutic effect similarly in bacterial infection in bacterial infection example boils carbuncles or any sort of abscess okay so let me just clear one more point in case of inflammation i have talked till now i have talked about the talked about uh, chronic inflammation in case of acute can we use short wave diathermy yes then also we can use short wave diathermy but there we will use pulsed short wave diathermy okay that is called p s w d pulsed is used in acute condition why because in acute condition acute condition there must be some sort of swelling and if we will apply continuous short wave diathermy it will increase or exacerbate the condition okay so jo inflammation hai wo kya ho jayegi aur bad jayegi it will cause detrimental effect so in acute condition we will use pulse short wave diathermy which is another topic we will study later okay now coming back to the bacterial infection in bacterial infection do you think that there is uh, we can say something more beneficial from our body blood yes body blood is very important so whenever we will use use short wave diathermy it will cause heating that is the deep heating which will cause vasodilatation vasodilatation what it will do it will increase the blood flow that is i am writing bf blood flow will increase which will increase the concentration of wbc and antibodies which will fight with the bacteria and kill the bacteria hence bacterial infection is cured or the symptoms are reduced so i have already said that all these things are going to repeat similarly in traumatic condition if the trauma is acute 
then then we will use pulse as wd but if the trauma is very uh, we can say in the chronic condition okay like uh, example i am saying recent ankle injury okay or meniscal injury in knee or post traumatic stiffness okay so in post traumatic stiffness what is the main thing which we want to reduce definitely it is the stiffness and stiffness will come over time okay over time stiffness will come to increase so definitely here we will use continuous short wave diatherapy uh, short wave diatherapy but in case of recent ankle injury when the symptoms are acute okay or the inflammation is acute then we will use the pulse one okay but if the ankle injury is again chronic ankle is very stiff then then we will use the use the uh, continuous short wave diatherapy which we are studying so this is about traumatic condition fourth is improve healing and you all know how healing will increase how in healing will increase okay so short wave diatherapy cause heating heating cause vasodilatation vasodilatation increase blood flow blood flow will be increased definitely the nutrition oxygen supply will increase and healing will be improved next is relief of pain okay it is the effect of effect of heating which we have studied already effect of heating what effect it will block bgt pgt it will block pgt what is this pgt pain gate theory or it will close the pain gate and reduce the pain any kind of pain low back pain or myofascial pain and most important and we can say uh, important to understand point is induction of muscle relaxation whenever we want to relax a muscle we will give short wave diatherapy and when the temperature will rise up to up to 42 degree celsius up to 42 degree celsius there will be two things two things first i am underlining muscle spindle second i am underlining this gto muscle spindle negative gto positive what does this means this increase in the temperature have a negative effect on muscle spindle okay this increase in temperature have a positive effect on gto now first of all let us understand what are the normal function of gto whenever gto is stimulated muscle is relaxed when mus whenever muscle spindle is stimulated muscle contract here what is what is occurring gto is stimulated normally when gto was stimulated it was causing relaxation and we will stimulate it more to cause muscle relaxation but muscle spindle normally when muscle spindle was stimulated it was causing contraction but we don't want the contraction we want the muscle to get relaxed so we will inhibit it okay and these are the names of their fiber it have type 2 fiber which are uh, afferent and gamma efferent and this have one b fiber so this have uh, stimulation this have inhibition cause the muscle relaxation this is whole about the therapeutic effect of short wave diatherapy very easy you can write n number of pages in regarding to this you can draw various diagram and diagrams and flow chart representing the whole theory okay so in our next lecture we will study about methods of short wave diatherapy application till then you keep on studying thank you to one and all